Hi, I'm Matt and this is my YouTube channel about Internet of Things and connected devices. In last week episode I was talking about different kinds of connectivity for Internet of Things and this episode will be about different kinds of Internet of Things devices. I will categorize Internet of Things devices into three categories uh, that are consumer Internet of Things, industrial Internet of Things and smart cities. So what are consumer Internet of Things devices? These are all home appliances and the devices that you can get uh, for your own usage, for your uh, home, for you, that are connected to the some kind of the cloud or to the internet and can uh, grab and send some data. So for example, that would be a connected coffee machine, that would be intelligent fridge, that would be a smart home, uh, smart watch or another wristband like whether it's Apple Watch or Fitbit or Garmin or similar stuff uh, that would be connected smart uh, smoke detector or thermostat or intelligent connected doorbell or connected door lock that would be your connected car that maybe in the future will be autonomous like for example the Tesla it's also your Amazon Echo, Google Home, or your Philips Hue light bulb. Up. All of these devices get in the category of uh, consumer internet of things. Um, the biggest issue with all of these devices, there is a really small focus on security. So there's a huge risk uh, of companies operating all these device devices and cloud behind them. Uh, from leaking your data, your private data. Uh, not so long ago, it was confirmed that all Google, Apple and Amazon are listening to you and recording your conversations with their home assistants. This is one of the reasons why Internet of Things is not yet so widely um, accepted and not yet so widely uh, installed. We can gain a lot from using such devices. It helps us uh, save energy, optimize our uh, water and electricity usage. It, um, it helps us get more fit and more healthy. It, because it knows a lot about us, it can analyze uh, the data and optimize our days. It also helps the environment because if we use less electricity and save more water, uh, then it's better for our planet, which is really important these days. So what is industrial Internet of Things? Industrial Internet of Things is the set all of instruments, sensors and devices that are running in industrial facilities uh, making their entire work more efficient. So for example it would be uh, monitoring of different installations in the facility like uh, water pipes with heating, uh, some gases, uh, energy usage, checking for leakage, uh, adjusting temperature for different needs, um, overseeing the production line because it basically human can get uh, tired so sometimes we may overlook something, machine does not so it's better, it can replace some of the workers which is both good and bad things, depends who you ask about this um, but it's not like golden solution for everything. People still need to oversee these machines. For example, uh, MKBHD, when he was on the tour in the Tesla facility with Elon Musk, uh, the, in this video uh, Elon said that they had to replace some robots with humans because basically humans were better at uh, manufacturing or fitting together some, some parts of the car. So for example, in the factory, um, the device could optimize how many paint would be used to uh, get the car done. In oil raffinery, it can monitor um, energy usage, temperature, pressure in different pipes. So it could help avoid damage that could be done if something go wrong. And my favorite part, smart cities. So cities can give us feedback if they have uh, enough data about what's going on in the cities. We can optimize how our cities work 
based on the data we can gather from it. So we can measure uh, how many people are walking in the parks in different parts of the day. We can check which spots are available on the parking and send drivers to that particular parking spot that is free right now. So driver don't have to uh, drive around the block for 10 minutes and look for some free spot because given that we have the information from the sensor that this spot is free, we can send it to the cloud and then we ha can have a mobile application that will tell us about this particular spot. Blah, blah, blah. We can measure the health of different infrastructure components like bridges, canals, things like that. So we can avoid floods, we can avoid uh, catastrophes done by ruined bridge. We can optimize the energy we use to light up the parks and streets based on the uh, flow of the pedestrians and the cars. Uh, we can optimize the traffic uh, because we can adjust the traffic lights according to, to the traffic itself. Smart city also means all the micro-mobility or e-mobility services like shared scooters, shared bikes, uh, car share, uh, things like that. Um, what else for smart city is checking the uh, air pollution, noise level, um, surveillance systems that checks whether the vandals destroys, for example, bus stop. And while we are at the bus stop, uh, we could install the sensor, like basically it's GPS in the bus or, or in the tram, uh, together with the sensors that are checking how many people are getting in and out from the vehicle and into the vehicle uh, on each stop. And then we can have this uh, displays on the stops that are saying that the next bus will be is full. Wait for the next one in, that will arrive in five minutes. Uh, we could use bus stops as uh, information centers for citizens. Like for sure, you know the times that uh, you are waiting for bus. And it's not arriving. You don't know why. Uh, that, that that there could be a display on the stop itself that will say there was an accident. Uh, any tram or bug cannot go through the bridge or uh, there was accident done by two trams and the race are logged. So uh, this is the reason why there's nothing coming and these are the alternative routes that you can get. Uh, go to the, to go to the uh, subway or something like that. Part of smart city is also prop tech, which means property technologies and that means buildings in the cities are also smart so it would be automatically adjusting lights depending on the sunlight that would be also smart uh, shades that adjust the level of lightnings to prevent the rooms in the building from heating too much and that could be connected with intelligent uh, ac or basically hvac which is both heating and air conditioning uh, that could be used to uh, optimize how we use water. So, for example, we could use uh, water from uh, washing our hands to flush the toilet. That's also part of smart city because smart city doesn't only mean technology. It also means the smarter way uh, to use the resources that we have in the city. And that means smart citizens so once more smart city is not only about technology it's, technology is the factor that can help us improve our uh, life in the cities and our uh, environment but it's really us the citizens that needs to be smart for that to achieve in a few weeks we will build together the smart sensor that will connect uh, using Wi-Fi because that will be the easiest way and uh, I will show you what can we get out of this data what tools can we use maybe you will be the uh, part of smart things and internet of things movement so click subscribe and wait for new videos see you